Okay, so in creating your directional pad to help move your character in Scratch Junior, I have my four directions set and ready to go. The sprites are there. What I have to do is give them some code. So I'll tap on my first character, which is the up arrow, and I want to start with a yellow start block. I want to start with this block, which is when I tap it. So when I tap the up arrow, I want that sprite to send a message to another character. The character I want it to send I want to send it to is cat. Cat when cat gets the message, I want it to move up two spaces and then stop. Okay. So if I tap on my button, he moves up. I'm tapping on the up arrow. If I tap on the right arrow, he doesn't move because there's no code. If I tap on the left arrow, same. And the down arrow, same again. I have to create new code. So let's do the left arrow. I want the left arrow on the tap, I want it to send a message and stop. But orange is the same message. If I send the same message to the cat, it's going to go up again. I don't want it to go up. This is the left arrow. So I want to change the message. Let's change it to red. I'm going to send it a red letter. We'll go back to cat. We'll do the same thing again. When cat gets a message, now we have to change color, red, I want cat to go left two spaces and then stop. Let's try that. Tap up, goes up. Tap left, goes left. Oh, great. Okay, let's do the third one. Let's do the down arrow. This sprite, I want it to send a on the tap, I want it to send a message. Can't be orange, can't be red. Have to select a different color. Let's go to yellow and then stop. Cat, when cat gets not the orange, not the red, but the yellow letter, I want cat to go down two spaces and then stop. The final one is the right facing arrow. When you tap, I want it to send a message. Now it can't be orange and it can't be red and it can't be yellow because we've used those already. Let's go with green. Send a green message and then stop. We have to add in for cat. When cat gets a green message, I want cat to step that way, that's right, two spaces, and stop. So I'm going to go full screen here, tap on the full screen. Tap the right facing arrow, he goes right. Try again, good stuff. Down, he goes down. Left, he goes left. And up, goes up. Fantastic. And that's how you start to code your directional pad for a game you're making in Scratch Junior.